Okay, um, I'm, I'm just wanting to go over the uh, the new Yumi Predator Super Scooter. This is um, a 72 volt, 50 amp hour scooter that was just released by Yumi. Um, the scooter, I think right now in their, I think the retail price on it right now is 3600 I think is what they're selling it for. I'm going to go over some of this. This is just an overview. I don't have a camera set up so that I can take a ride and take you guys along to see how this thing operates. But when I, I think it's rated for 63 miles per hour. I believe it can do that. No, no problem. The scooter weighs 173 pounds fully dressed with the battery and the scooter in it. Um, it is, I think the deck is 27 inches long. The deck is also very, very deep to accommodate the batteries. And that's probably one of the things I want to talk about the most with the scooter is the battery. Your typical scooter, which I'm going to show you now, I have a Nan Robot LS7 Plus, which is another 72 volt scooter. But when you look at the width of the deck, it's much, much more narrow than, um, than how this deck is. The, the actual height of the deck, I'm sorry, is it's a lot, it's a lot less deep. The reason is because they're using basically what a common rechargeable lithium ion battery that kind of looks like a C cell battery. And they have 200 of them welded together to make a 72 volt, 32 amp hour battery in this, in this unit. Now this is a big scooter. The Nan Robot LS7 is a big scooter. Um, got a wide deck. Uh, it's only on 11 inch tires, which is common, right? That's the most common super scooter size tire. It's an 11 inch tire. In contrast, you're looking at a 13 inch tire here. Um, it, it, it's so much bigger. I don't know if you guys can, can tell I'm going to back away so you can kind of look at it. It's still really hard to gauge just by looking at it on, on camera. As I'm looking at it, you can't really tell the difference, but when I tell you this thing is, is monstrous, it's, it's, it's an understatement. Uh, if you're looking here on the side of the scooter, this is a, um, these are heat sinks. This one's actually not functional. It's, uh, it's just made for balance. This is a functional heat sink that is connected to a fluid line that goes inside the scooter. The fluid line comes in here, connects to the heat sink. It goes up to the front and there's a, there's an actual fluid pump inside underneath the deck that is activated by temperature and when it reaches a certain temperature it starts to pump the fluid through here and obviously air and fluid will get rid of the heat coming off of the controllers the controllers are 57 amp sine wave controllers I apologize if the wind is getting kind of crazy here just trying to give everybody a good a good rundown on what what this scooter is about okay so back to the batteries 200 batteries is what it would take is what is inside this nan robot 200 batteries welded together to get a 72 volt 32 amp hour battery this scooter is only using 20 individual cells 20 cells versus 200 20 individual 50 amp hour cells make up a 72 volt 50 amp hour battery pack if you guys think about that for a minute right you only have 20 cells so instead of having to go through and make 200 welds to connect you know 200 little flashlight batteries you have a big square battery these are the same cells that are used inside of um, electric cars so you, you only have 20 connections to make so you have less chance of error, less chance of a weld breaking. You have less cells, so you don't have to worry about like, you know, if one or two cells go bad in a 200 cell pack, it could ruin the whole pack. In this, you have 20 cells. They're more likely to stay balanced. But if one of them goes bad, you only have to change one, one cell. It's, uh, this alone is, was enough to motivate me to buy this scooter. The other thing about it is that these cells, being that they're bigger and more robust, are um i think they're four times the service life of the batteries you find in most scooters that we're, we're seeing on the market today so this is really a game changer and um yeah 
I don't really know uh, what else you guys want to know. The rest of, I mean, this stuff is really easy to find on Yumi's website. These are 4,000 watt motors. Um, again, like I said, 13 inch tires. You can see that these are the, these are the, um, there's two shocks back here. I believe they're 1,500 pound coil shots, shocks per, and they're adjustable. So they're hydraulic and spring loaded. They use one larger shock in the front, 2,000 pounds for the, the one in the front. So you have, the, uh, the during my experience riding this thing, it's plush, super plush. I thought this thing was plush. This is super plush. Because of the size of the tires and this suspension, um, we have rough roads here, and I didn't, I, did, I, I was just gliding over it. Um, comes with the steering stabilizer or steering dampener. I installed this today. Yesterday, I took a ride on this, and after 40 miles per hour, it was not, um, it, it was stable until you started to slow down. Once you start slowing down, it gets really, really sketchy. So uh, now that I have the steering damper on, it is um, rock solid. I went up to 50 miles an hour today, slowing down, speeding up. I had no issues whatsoever. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. The sun is bright here. Um, it's, it's getting to be dusk and the sun is right in my face, but I wanna show you guys the display. All right, so it boots up. You have to use your little card. And there you go. This is visible in direct sunlight, no problem. This, again, this battery is full. I've, I've ridden almost four miles and it's at 83.6 volts. I didn't even charge it when I got it. It was over, it was like 85 volts when I got it. And this is, it's, it's barely gone down and I've, I've run it pretty, pretty hard. Uh, another thing I want to mention, like I, I did mention these, um, these tires, but the brakes, um, custom brakes, Yumi designed, if I'm not mistaken, they're, um, they're four caliber, I mean, uh, four piston huge calipers uh the, this the um the actual spindle here is is big it's thick i haven't measured it i will later to to double check but even when you go up here the reservoir on this is massive like this is all reservoir here this is much much bigger than normal here's the ls7 which is a fantastic braking system it's a nut four piston braking system and look at the reservoir compared this is like my finger here versus this thing here it's double the size easily double the size um yeah that's it there's no um there's no ambience ambiance lighting on the scooter on the side but this the entire neck lights up and comes with a remote control in order to to adjust it and i, I don't think they put i, I think they kind of left the ambiance out of there just so they could keep as much wiring off of this water cooling system as possible. Another thing that I did like about this scooter is that it does have an active brake light back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I just turned it on. But yeah, when you hit the brakes, this thing will get lighter and it's constantly on. So you have visibility back here and your turn signals are back here. And they are very, very visible. And like a lot of scooters don't have, this one actually has turn signals in the front as well. And they are very, very bright and very visible. So I'm super happy with what I'm seeing from this and where in the direction that Yumi is taking. Um, they've been super helpful with me. I, I ordered this thing, paid for it with my own money. So this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. As you can tell from the rough uh, editing of this thing. I'm just doing this in one take, but so many people have questions and I'm here on my part to say, I wholeheartedly recommend the thing. I mean, I'm a big guy though. Uh, this I'm six, three, I weigh two forty. This scooter pulls me around like I'm a, like I'm a fifth grader and has no trouble doing it. Um, so if it, for you guys that are out there that are, that are big, you can uh, rest assured. This is, this is a scooter for you. Um, you can take a look too. Also, they uh, they went pretty pretty hard on the on the uh, the hand grips too. These are the the little leather wrapped or pleather wrapped hand grips, synthetic leather. You got hardware to secure them on both sides. They didn't really cut any corners here, man. This thing is awesome. Two headlights, 
you know, this one is a like a big bright square beam and then this is your little floodlight down here so it's um it's good it's good i haven't had any problems with the this locking mechanism i haven't used this before you know admittedly i don't have a huge amount of experience with scooters but i know this nan robot one is easy to use it's very sturdy and i like it but i feel like this one is just as sturdy and it's just a big clamping system so and that's it guys i'm gonna leave this right here for now and maybe if i can get more footage of it running at some point i have to get some kind of setup to do that i can't do it with a cell phone i'll uh i'll start posting stuff like that but it gets it this thing gets it take care